Hi everyone, it's Laura here from Making Cards is Fun and welcome to another video tutorial here at my YouTube channel and blog. In today's video, I'll be creating a cute hedgehog themed birthday card featuring Heffy Doodle's Will You Be Mine steam set. I stamped these images on Nina Solar White cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and now I'm using Copic sketch markers to color all of these images. For my hedgehog, I'm using E27, E57, and E55. For his little belly and feet, I'm using E51 and E50. I'm also going in with a R11 marker to add a little bit of blush and color to his cheeks. Next, for the leaves of my cake, I'm using YG09, YG06, and YG03. I also use those colors to color the other tiny leaves. Then for the little flower on the pie or the cake, I'm using Y19, Y18, and Y13. For the actual cake, I'm using RV02, RV10, and RV0000. I just wanted this cake to look like a strawberry shortcake and I absolutely love the little leaves and flower um, for the details of this cake. Then for the flower balloon, I'm using RV14, RV13 and RV11. For the center little dot of my flower, I used Y19, Y18 and Y13. I die cut this rectangle using the Imperial Stitched Die Cut Set from Heffy Doodle. And then I also use the Grassy Last Border Dies to die cut grassy borders. For my sky, I am going in with Tumble Glass Distress Oxide Ink. And as always, I'm using these blending brushes from Tailored Expressions. Then I am using some blue watercolor paint, a lot of water and my paintbrush to add some paint splatters to the background um, because I think that just adds a really nice little touch to your card. Then for my grassy borders, I'm using two colors. First, I'm using Twisted Citron and then I'm going in with Mowed Lawn at the top of this border. So I'm just adding that to the very top of this border die and then I'm going back in with Twisted Citron just to blend that out a little bit and just to make sure that you don't see any harsh lines. Then I'm also going in with some green watercolor paints just to add some extra detail to this background. I recently started doing this on my card because I just think that it adds a nice little extra touch it was actually inspired by the Spoofy Speckles uh, paper pad from Lawn Fawn because I use that paper pad all the time and I think I am on my third uh, pad because I just use it so many times. So I decided maybe I can just add some splatters myself. So all you need is watercolor paint, water and a paintbrush and then you can just create it yourself. I layered these um, grassy borders using foam tape from Scotch. Then I also used some scrapbook adhesive uh, foam squares for my hedgehogs and for my cake. Next, I die cut this border from the roundabout sentiments and die cut set from Happy Doodle. I prepped that cardstock using my powder tool from We Are Memory Keepers. Then I stained my sentiment with Versamark ink and now I am sprinkling on white opaque embossing powder from WOW. I am heat setting that powder until it's melted completely and then I can start assembling this little banner. So when you die cut it, it comes with score lines so all you have to do is fold along those lines, use a little bit of liquid glue and foam adhesive to adhere it to your card. So it's just really easy. And I love this steam set from Heffy Doodle, the roundabout sentiments, because it comes with many different sentiment steam sets, uh, stamps I mean. And you can use this border uh, or this banner um, in two different ways. So you can just flip it over so you have the arch in the opposite way. 
So, I am almost done with this card, just need to assemble everything using foam adhesive. I also decked some pattern paper from the Really Rainbow paper pack from Lawn Fawn, I believe. This is the 12 by 12 paper. I'm also adding some sparkle using my Spectrum Noir shimmer pen and of course I'm also adding a coat of glossy accents for extra shine and dimension. So there you go, that finishes up my hedgehog themed birthday card featuring Heffy Doodle's Quill UV Mind theme set. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell below. I will see you very soon. Bye bye!